Okay. All right. Thank you for sharing, uh, Abu Bakr and Dosa Shayla. That's super great to hear it from you. Like, wait, of course, when we are starting at Ten Academy, we start to feel like things are becoming like almost too much. But let me tell you, as you we go throughout the days, like for instance, today and tomorrow, you are going to kind of adapt. You're going to start feeling like you are fitting in. We can understand from the time zone changes, from uh, navigating the challenges, from navigating uh, extra challenges that are going to be coming today. You might feel like it's becoming a lot, but trust me, we have technical tutors here. And also we have career tutors here. So for any kind of questions, especially from last days, uh, the, the previous challenge, yesterday's challenge, they are going to be clarifying for any questions you have. Any questions you have. Any questions you have. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I like again to congratulate people. So for you even to navigate then day one, to those who submitted, we have good numbers of submissions for the repository and those who have started to work on the challenge like a little bit, really congratulations for making those very, very fast steps on the pace that we expect you to be on. And also for those who are still finding themselves, this is the time. We are going to be using the this time to clarify everything. We are here with Nathaniel and we are here with uh, MT now. So we are going to be collecting question by question one question after another question and then Nathaniel will be helping us navigate those questions but before we go into the questions so that we don't miss this I want to make announcements of what we are going to be focusing on today and of course that we expect all of you to be working on it big time even though you might be even having like small brackets until the deadline because uh, we have some challenges that will be coming in the afternoon for some people but we still expect you to submit on the deadline, either way. Because week zero has to be hectic, it has to prepare you on how the, the whole training is going to be looking like. So let me go through the announcement quickly, quickly. So uh, starting shop. Well, so we have the very first career session today. It's career readiness, mainly the career readiness sessions. There are uh, sessions that help you to prepare yourself as a profession uh, that you are going to be becoming when you complete the trainings. So we cover everything around the kind of ethics, the kind of high standard professional that you have to be as a, an individual when you get to be employed after the training. So that's basically what we'll be covering in different career readiness sessions. But in this week, it's going to be a little bit different. Let me give you a quick intro. We are going to be having the very first session on CV writing, because first of all, we have to collect your CVs. And then also, second of all, because we want to ensure that you deliver or you share with us like quality CVs. What do we use with that CV? We firstly use them in the upcoming interviews that you are going to be uh, attending individually. I believe they made that announcement or they are going to be making that announcement either way. But you have interviews that you will go through and we want to understand your background before stepping into that uh, specific interview. And again, we also keep your CVs just for any opportunity that might come around to those who are going to be sticking after week zero. So that is it. The very first career session for today is going to be CV writing and we expect each and everyone to be in the session because we expect each and everyone to submit their CV. So yeah, that is going to be later today after I believe all sessions is the very last session for today. Let me mute that. And then um, next we have the end of course for the car that career submission, the deadline for submission is today. The deadline for submission of your CV is today. And of course it doesn't have to be a random CV. It has to be the quality CV according to what we will be delivering in the tutorial or in the session specifically. Here sessions, we call them tutorials. So when I, talk, when I say tutorial, I hope you understand what I mean. And then uh, we are going to be having the second technical submission today. Second technical submission today. So pay attention uh, on the schedule. We already have it written on the schedule and probably Nathaniel will also talk about it shortly, shortly. And then we also have the female only session. This is a session that is just for us ladies only 
only women, guys, because who run the world? Who run the world? Beyonce sang that to whoever know that song. Who run the world? Girls. So, yeah, we are going to be together, ladies, 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 and only ladies. So make sure that you don't miss that session. We always meet as trainees, like only women trainees, and also only women uh, tutors. Actually, it's a beautiful thing that majority of our technical tutors here, they are women. It's a super cool thing. So ladies in the house, why am I not seeing any reaction from the ladies in the house? Are you excited? Are you excited for it? Okay, I can see Shayla and Jockey, Daisy, okay, Anna, Stacy. I'm a fan of you guys. I'm a fan of you. So yeah, we are going to be having that session later today. Uh, those, are, those were, I believe, the very only announcement that I had. Unless voters will be having another announcement at the end of the day. But yeah, Anjali said men only session is needed. <laughs> Nathaniel, you will tell us <laughs> when we will be having that one. But yeah, for the women, it's an exception. It's an exception. Okay, all right. So let's go through it. We are going to be collecting question by question. Well, of course, you tell us the very first thing when, um, when you want to speak, you raise your hand. You can see an icon with your hand down here on your Google Meet. So you raise your hand if you want to speak, and then we'll be calling your name. And uh, you have to tell us how was yesterday. Did you manage to submit everything on time? And are you ready for today? And do you have any blockers? Just three things. How was yesterday? How are you preparing yourself for today? And also, do you have any blockers or do you have any challenge? Anything you want to ask the technical tutors or any random question you want to ask us? So. Is it understandable? Can I have some thumbs up? Okay, thank you so much. I like it when you are engaging. I feel like uh, I'm not speaking to myself, so I'm feeling welcomed. So let's see some hands up to people who wants to report like very quickly. Let's see some hands up. Let's see some hands up. As the professionals, we are preparing ourselves to, to be, especially in uh, our specific tracks, Gen AI, data. We always really appall um, people or appreciate people who take the lead. When we say, are you ready to report? If you are not in a noisy place, of course, you don't have to be during stand-up. If you have your microphone working, raise your hand. Raise your hand and get ready to share your progress or your updates. We already have two people on the queue. This can't be the only professional people we have here. It can't be. Let's see at least a queue of five people. Very quickly. We have Melaku, Abubakar, Wandera. I love this. So let's go ahead according to how we follow each other on the queue. Uh, Nathaniel, uh, can I confirm that you are ready to be taking over the questions? Nathaniel, or, all right, thank you so much. Okay, we are going to go ahead, um, Tibebu. Also, you tell us how we pronounce your name, guys. Tibebu, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, all right. Then go ahead, the floor is yours. All right. Um, I'm sorry. How to pronounce my name is Salamite Tobebu. You can easily call me Salam. Okay, and how my day one went was it was really nice sorry for the road but it was really uh, an eye-opener and to how much tasks we have to handle in week zero and the task for yesterday was really easy it was just submitting the repository link and that i did but i continued on working on the other tasks as well which i saw a little bit of problems with 
it took me time to understand the starter pack they sent us and that took a lot of time from my day but now that i've understood it i'm working on the remaining tasks and i'm feeling very energetic and very hopeful about how today is gonna go okay all right that is very great to hear so it means you have no blocker at the moment no blockers at the moment but i had them yesterday okay super happy that you managed to find a way through them okay let's hear from jabez okay can you hear me we can okay so uh, day one was uh, uh, awesome but also it was scary because it was uh, overwhelming the the problems i had was that uh, uh, which tools to to select because uh, I want to select the best software tools uh, for the ED analysis. So I have hard time to choose between those tools. So it, it took me a lot because I, if I choose something and if I am wrong, maybe on the past I will have difficulty. So it was a challenging to choose between uh, Jiper or uh, to choose between PyCharm or uh, other other tools. So that was the challenge. But I managed to create my repository and also to post the uh, URL. But uh, and today I continue to work on that. But still, I am uh, having a little doubt if I uh, choose the right tool and if uh, it might maybe uh, get me back uh, to work on the on the project again. But I am excited and uh, I hope uh, I will do the, uh, the best I can and. Uh, meet all the requirements okay that is great i'm happy to hear that we've been uh finding solutions to the challenges we were facing so keep it up jebez you are doing great uh let's hear from melaku uh, okay thank you can you hear me yeah we can okay so uh, yesterday was great uh, I, I was actually confused that at the start as most of the people are here. So I was, uh, I was, I, I didn't know what to do at, at the start of the project, but with, uh, with, uh, I, I, I tried to follow the, the afternoon session with Nathaniel and that kind of clear up what we are supposed to do. And I tried to finish task one by the end of yesterday. I was able to create the repo and uh, upload the starter files from the the the, the 10x uh, github repository so uh for now uh, i think i'm i'm going in the right direction but i'm a bit confused about uh, the things i'm supposed to do next so from the uh, i'm on the starter code and i'm confused how i can manipulate that into the tasks we are supposed to do now so that's a uh, something I, I would like to ask. So, and I'm excited about the, the things I, I will do next. And yeah, that's it. Thank you. Okay, all right. Um, Samuel? Okay, uh, so. Uh, uh, Abubakar, one moment. Anna Chaniel, would you like to answer Melaku? Uh, I think uh, let's just collect questions and I'll answer them for the end. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, that that is okay as well. Uh, and then Abu Bakr, you can go. Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, yesterday was a great one. Uh, and uh, since it is a started having a Git repo and everything, was i think uh, straightforward for me but what challenged me was two things one thing was uh, the ci cd part so uh, maybe because i actually saw the tutorials on youtube and i i missed the session i thought it was in utc so uh, i didn't understand uh, are we just setting up the CI CD for future thing or are we doing it now? That's the question I didn't understand. So I just 
go ahead, go ahead with it because it was already set up. Uh, and the second thing was getting people to collaborate because they I, I, I know they were busy and collaborating is a little bit hard. So getting them to collaborate was a little bit hard. And the other things, I think more like technical issues. Uh, probably uh, I, I didn't actually have a really deep understanding on data and analysis. So it was a little bit challenging, but I'm, I'm getting through it. Okay. Does it mean that you are figuring out or you need help? You need uh, Nathaniel to comment about it? Anything? Uh, it is possible. Yeah, it it maybe we can talk about it. That that's that would be really good. Okay. All right. Uh, let's take more uh, five people, and then after the five people, uh, Nathaniel will start to answer some of the questions you asked. All right. We have we have our i was going to say one prayer we have two people on the queue let's have more three people quickly abraham let's have more Okay, amazing. Bifkadu, you can go ahead. Okay, can you hear me? Uh, my name is Bifkadu, uh, but you can call me Chu Chu. I think it's a bit easier. Uh, the given challenge is uh, a little overwhelming, but as Aaron said yesterday, try everything <laughs> and uh, I'm working on it. Uh, I spent last night and this morning uh, reading and trying to lay the foundation so i can work on it or build on it uh, and i find challenging a bit of challenging laying the foundation rather than in the given tasks so uh, i'm reading and uh, trying to figure out how can i proceed to the next tasks so i don't have any um, questions so i just want to say what I've been doing. Absolutely. Thank you for that. It's great. Keep it up as well. You are doing great. Excuse the kid in my background. <laughs> uh, she's a small baby here. So let's hear from Kumi. Thank you. Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I hope you are all doing well. I think yesterday was a little bit scary, uh, given the introduction to all we had to do for a week. Um, but I think we have a little bit of work and hard work we can we can achieve it. Now I try to uh, figure out how to, but using the recording yesterday afternoon, I try to work on the CI/CD part. But uh, when I try to commit my work on GitHub, I have some problems. Uh, have some problems. So uh, I was trying to compare and pull uh, pull the request. I think I was trying to compare the main branch to the one that I created for the CI/CD, and I realized that. They were saying there is no relationship or there's nothing to compare between the two. So I have I do not have time to really solve it because I was trying to work at the same time on the EDA. So if I don't know if someone can help for uh, to see how to deal with this, like how to compare uh, why am I having uh, this notification saying that I cannot compare the main branch to the one that I create. So I'm preparing well for the remaining of the training. Uh, let's say I'm hopeful for the remaining part. Thank you. 
Okay, all right, Kumi, that question is also noted. Uh, let's hear from Abraham. Okay, thank you for giving me the chance. And I'm Abraham. Uh, yesterday I have tried uh, preparing the environment on my uh, platform and uh, I have done it. Uh, the, it is uh, challenging, uh, it is also overwhelming. Uh, I think uh, I could uh, continue with this and thank you. Okay, great Abraham. Any blockers? Any blockers on your side, Abraham, or everything is okay? Uh, everything is okay, but uh, after uh, Nathaniel's uh, video I have seen in the afternoon, uh, it uh, gets me clearer for me. Okay. And uh, I think if uh, that like videos uh, are released for us, uh, then we could uh, proceed with it. Okay, that is great. That is great. All right, we move on to Joki. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, I struggled. I struggled uh, to set up my environment, but by the end of the day, I done it. Uh, so I managed to post my GitHub repository link on time. Uh, I didn't. I don't have any blockers as at this moment. But I have a question: Should I get blockers during the day? But before like between this session and tomorrow's session do i post them on all day two or do i reach out to someone specifically no you it's better you post it in all day two everyone is there so if there is any colleague that knows how to handle it you will be receiving a quicker response and even the tutors technical tutors all of them they are there so when you post there it, it it gets more visibility and then you get uh even various answers to your question and quick answers so better let's post all the questions we get in all day two that's the main reason of those channels actually okay okay, okay thank you um so thank you for that clarification that will be all okay all right shayla hello everyone um, so as I mentioned earlier, I had a challenge yesterday because of the conversion time, because I thought like the conversion for all the programs were in, like the time was in UTC, but I figured it out later. So that meant I missed a couple of sessions. So I wasn't able to like start on most of, okay, to do most of the work, but I was able to like um, send my GitHub repository link to the 10X the next platform so i had three questions so my first question was um i remember there was a session we had before week zero started and um we were advised that um using linux or linux i don't know how you'd pronounce it um would be better so i wanted to ask for week zero do i have to like have linux for week zero or can i just do that if i proceed with the program um that's the first question then the second question um, according to the document, the, to the week zero documentation, um, we have both tasks and deliverables. So my question is, because we have five tasks and five deliver deliverables for this week, um, do I, does it mean that every single day I have to have completed a task? Like I have to have completed a particular task. Like I know the deliverables are a must, like you have to submit them daily. But then for the tasks, is it possible for me to like combine two tasks at at once, especially now because I wasn't able to like have to be connected to the main branch. Like when I create a new branch for um a particular a particular task, do I have to do they have to be connected to the main branch or I can just use them independently? So those were my questions and yeah, thank you. All right, uh, Nathaniel, we'll get back to you also. We answered the second question. Uh, but with the notion, go and make your conversion using Google to just to everyone else, do your conversion. See, 
every time our schedule starts from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. UTC. UTC. So do the conversion and see what time is 8 a.m. UTC in your local time. But also the beautiful thing about Notion is the time uh, that is there, most of the time, but please cross-check, cross-check so that I don't misdirect you. But majority of the time, the time that appears on your Notion page, it's your local time. It's your local time. I will show you, for instance, an example. So, um, what is, okay, let me pull this link. Yeah, for instance, for me, okay, I will handle that quickly. But for instance, for me, if you check my Notion page, you we say that everything has to be starting at 8 a.m. UTC, but for me, it's showing 12 p.m. because my local time, 8 a.m., then my local time is 12 p.m. You know, so that means I know that I should be joining stand up at 12 p.m. So, yeah, because Notion, displays your local time, which is a very beautiful thing. So also go check and uh, check, cross check again, if the time that is appearing there is your local time. If it's not, you have a set, you can go in the setting and activate that, but always it should, it should. So let's ensure that we do not miss any other session just because of the time different issues. All right, let's move on to Andera. Wandera Martin. Yes, can you hear me? Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I think Wandera is probably. Uh, Wandera, I can see that your microphone is unmute, but we cannot hear you. Wandera? Okay. All right, uh, Wandera, we come back to you. I'll mute you for this time, sorry. Uh, and then, uh, please, you can fix that, and then we start with you after Nathaniel answers the questions that we have received so far. Nathaniel, over to you. Hello, uh, I think I'll try to answer the questions. So the first question was how to use the starter code uh, to continue tasks. So uh, I think uh, if you find anything useful in the starter code, you use it. And if it's not, if it's unrelated, for example, if it's too much dependent on the slab data, you discard it. So it depends on what you're looking for. So for example, you can understand the structure, but follow the structure. For example, follow how the notebooks are structured, follow how the scripts are structured, and also follow how the tests are written, and also follow how the utility functions are written. So it's better to follow the structure. Just don't, don't, don't depend on it, but follow the structure. And you you have you you will have to create your own util functions. So, for example, you will have to create your own grouping util functions, your sorting grouping sorting functions, and so just if you find something useful in that starter code, use it. Uh, if it's related to the or if it can be used for the actual data that's provided to you, you use it. So that's how you use the, start, the starter code. And I think yesterday it, it was explained briefly how to follow up using the starter code. And also it's, also, uh, it's written uh, briefly in the challenge document also. And 
Moving on to Abu Bakr's question, are we doing the CICD for now or uh, will we will be still using it for throughout the week? Yes, you will be. You will have to use CICD for the rest of the week, meaning that uh, you have to follow the the instructions given. So, for example, uh, you have a util function that's not actually tested. It's not the right approach or it's not the right structure. So you you actually have to follow that. And uh, if you have an issue in understanding, in the data analysis understanding, uh, you might not be able to understand the whole thing in, 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 in a day or two, but just try to find uh, and try to be smart while you are doing your tasks. So for example, you could, there are many references and uh, Pandas is a great reference. And just try to, one, one of the, Key qualities in a software engineer and in a, in a data engineer is how to find solutions, right? So, if you if you are facing any issue and if there is something you are not understanding, try to find a better way to understand it more and also efficiently. So, for example, let's say you want you want to understand pandas and how to use pandas. So now you you, you don't have time to go through all the library, right? So identify what 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 is the required uh, topics uh, for week zero and try to actually go through them like if you want to understand it deeply but you can just use them okay, and you might not understand it fully you know what is doing what it is doing but you might not understand the math behind it and also the whole source code behind it we don't have time to do that, so we have to be efficient on how, to, how you understand things and how you perceive the documentation. And for commits, uh, GitHub uh, relationship and nothing too much problem. So it means that uh, you, both of your brands uh, have different heads. So for example, to compare in GitHub, each branch should have the same head. Or so for example, you are you created. Uh, another branch of main but you are trying to compare it for some other branch since the other branch doesn't actually uh doesn't come from main it, it has different heads so it, which means there is nothing to compare no things are recorded accordingly because they have they have different heads so make sure you are creating so for example if you want like I suggest this approach. So you are on main branch and you just pushed to main, right? So now you have to create another branch for another task. So you create a branch of main, and after that you you, you push that branch to <clears throat> to GitHub and create a pull request. A pull request, and after that you uh, you merge it with main, right? And for the next task, you check out to main and pull main. After that, you create another branch which is of main. So now you can you, your main is up to up to date, and also your recent branch is also up to date. So you you will have less issues and less conflicts, and also you will have the same it, which is you, you can compare, and if there is any conflict, you can resolve it accordingly. So that's how uh, that, that's how you do it. And for Sheila, and uh, I suggest. You use Linux, but setting it up, setting up a new environment in in the middle of week zero is not the right approach. So just try to do it to complete week week zero with what you have, and in the meantime, when you have the time for for example, when you have a break, you will upgrade your system to Linux and set it up in a way that is somehow useful for you. And yeah. Mm, and the main branch has to be always up to date, as I've mentioned, and always remember to create a branch of main, uh, off of main. Yeah, I think that was all the questions. And if if there is uh, anything that that was unclear in my explanations, you can just raise a, raise your hand and ask. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, yes. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Okay, one so, drop. Okay. Yes, yes. So yesterday, uh, it was a very overwhelming day for me because I have malaria, so I'm trying to do this whole thing. So 
the repository part, the GitHub part was a bit tricky for me, but over time I figured it out because I watched a tutorial last night and I've done some stories on YouTube as well. Uh, then the EDA part, the analysis, I wanted to ask a question. Do we have to code or I can just do everything in, because I'm using Google Colab, not, not Jupyter. And then uh, there are three CSV files. So uh, are we supposed to join them to make one data set? And then we use that data set to analyze the data. And then uh, at the same time, as when I was cleaning the data, I realized there were there were certain missing files, especially in the especially in the column of I think source ID. And I wanted to ask, should I just delete them out, or should I delete delete those out? Like because they're all they're missing. So I wanted to know if I could just delete them, or I can I don't know fill them in or replace them a certain way. Uh, yeah. So those are my questions. Okay, uh, for the source ID part, you can just uh, remove it, remove the, col the whole column, not the uh, rows, but remove the whole source column, source ID column, or you can actually uh, um, populate it using article ID. So article ID is Unix throughout the uh, document, or throughout the CSV. So you can uh, populate it using that, uh, but you can also just drop the source ID column. And also for the uh, merging part, you don't, they are totally separate data. So there is no point in merging them, but you can merge it in uh, another <laughs> way. So for example, for uh, every, for every want, for example, you want the traffic score, right? You can just uh, fish the traffic score based on the source and you can create a column. Uh, you can do that. You can merge it in a way, but you can't. You just don't merge it uh, in a row wise. You just choose. You add columns from the other data sets. Andra, is that clear or? Bakar, is that clear? Was it clear? Right. That was one drive, I guess. So, okay. let's, oh. let's just move on to Sheila. Okay. Um, there's, hi. Uh, there's a question I asked that has not been answered. I wanted Which to one? know where, um, the one where, yeah, we have deliverables and we have tasks, right? So now, do does it mean like if and the tasks are five and the deliverables are five i know that the deliverables have to be submitted daily so for the tasks i wanted to know whether um is it possible for me to like i didn't manage to finish the task one so is it possible for me to finish task one and task and start on task two today and complete them together that's what i wanted to know or do i have to yeah thank you uh, just try to complete all the tasks as soon as possible because you don't really have enough time. You have five days or five or six days is not enough to complete all the projects, right? There is a lot to do here. So try use, try to actually do every task as possible. So for example, let's say you are done with task, task one and deliverable one only requires task one. But you, 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 don't, you don't just uh, stops it if you go through task two and task three, uh, even if you are just on deliverable two. So, for example, you are on day two and you manage to reach task three, that's good, and you keep going. And in that way, you, 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 you might have the time to actually go through all the tasks and go through all the projects. So, try to use, uh, try to do as much as you can. And okay, uh, I think you have this, Okay, hello, Nathanae. Hi. My question is, uh, first, uh, I think the CI CD, you can, I think, uh, do it for uh, both on GitHub or either the, the tools you are using, I think. So can we do the CI CD part on the GitHub or should we do it on the 
on the tools if my question is clear and the other one is the other question is that about the uh, repository you the on the website on the ten academy website it's uh, tell us to post the url for the main uh, but if you are doing uh, the uh, task on the branches are you going to see both of them or uh, should we uh, post the branch for the URL because I have a hard time to post the URL for the branch on the on the website on Ten Academy website. And the third one is, uh, will you give us the feedback on uh, on the things we post uh, on the earlier days so that we can know where we are or um, if we are doing uh, uh, if, if we are right, if we are on the right path. Do we do you give us personally uh, feedback on that? That's all. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so uh, for the CI/CD part, uh, it's better to. Uh, I don't really understand what you mean by tools, but uh, just make sure uh, you do it. Uh, you write the test and you file locally and when you push it it will be on it will be uh completed using github actions or it will run using github actions so i don't really understand your question there but try to include as much as as, as more says it is softly like right write more tests write more uh run more tests on your code so you can actually sure your function is doing the right thing. And for the branch part, make sure, uh, for example, for deliverable, you are uh, you are working on a branch for task two. So for that, you have to when when you are submitting deliverable two, it's just uh, I'm not saying deliver deliverable two depends on task two, but it's just a, a hypothetical example. But so for example, while, while you are doing that, try to. Uh, submit me so we can we we know how how far you have gone and uh, that's why i said main should be the 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 most updated branch so we can know like how how you progressed and also how you have done things and also are you are you actually doing it in a right way or are you there's something wrong with it so we can actually follow up but for example you are just submitting some branch that is totally not up to date and you are there is some other branch which is up to date so we can keep track of that efficiently so make sure you are using the while you are submitting your main branch is up to date and submit that branch and for the personal feedback part it might be uh, hard to actually follow up and give feedback for every every one here but we will try as much as we can to actually give you feedbacks in every submission. We will do it on 10x, but we, we might not uh, reach you on Slack and give you that feedback. But in 10x, you will have, uh, there, there is always be a feedback for every submission. Okay. Is that clear, uh, yes. yes, thank you. Uh, the uh, the, on the first question, I was just saying that you can, I think, uh, run the test on both your local local machine and also on GitHub. I think, if I'm not, if I'm correct, uh, what I meant is that should we do the CI/CD test on both GitHub and also on the, our local machines, or is it okay to set up the test on the GitHub? If uh, I'm, I'm just right, do I don't know. just okay. do both. Just do both. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, Enoch. Okay, hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, it's a bit uh, low, but can you speak louder? Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so my question is, uh, if we run out of time, should we do a little bit of all the tasks, or should we really focus on doing really good on some of the tasks? Okay, uh, just try, uh, as Arun mentioned yesterday, just try your best. That's yeah. I have to do, do you understand my question? Like, 
for example, if I run out of time, should I really focus on task two and task three and just, you know, not do task four and five? Or should I just do some of task two, some of task three? Like if I run out of time, should I focus on specific tasks and do those tasks really well? Or like do what I can in each of those tasks? Do you understand my question? Yeah, I, I, this is my suggestion. It might be not, it, it might not be the right way, but my suggestion would be try to do best in each task. So, for example, you run out of time in task three. So, task three is not completed, so which means task five are still not completed. So, try to do your best in all the tasks. It's my suggestion. It might not be the right way, but that's, how, that's what I would suggest to do. Okay. Uh, Hilary. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my question is, if uh, if I'm if I'm I'm stuck on some some concept and um and I've tried to to learn it, but uh, let's say I've not made progress on it. If I move on to the next uh, progress or the next tasks, uh, will I be penalized if I missed out on that? Probably. Let's say I'll come on. And we come back to it later after I've, com I've completed these others. Let's say something like data processing uh, or preparation. Uh, can I be penalized if I missed out on that and work on the rest? Thank you. Uh, okay, I think it's kind of the same question as Enoch, but I would say the same thing. Uh, if you are facing a huge broker, so for example, you are stuck on it for on it like for a few hours. So it's better to move on to the next task. So for example, let's say you assume you're taking an exam and you are just stuck on a question. There is only 30 minutes left. So you don't just leave all the other questions blank, knowing that you could have done more on the other questions, but you are just grinding up on this question. So you, I suggest you just, uh, if you are facing a huge group, which is like, you, you, you can't fix it, and let's say somebody also tried to help you and they didn't manage to fix it, just move on to the next task. Is that true? Uh, Okay, uh, are all questions answered? Salama, it has raised your hand. I'm just waiting for her. Okay, I didn't hear you give me the chance. Okay, so my question is, on task one, there's this section that says to move all non-plotting quotes onto loader and Utah. And once we've moved that, and we, when we move on to the rest of the tasks, um, obviously we're going to be using the news CSV, right? The data file is going to be a different file than that of, than that of Slack. Slack, less Slack um, than that of we used for Slack. And <clears throat> should we be removing that uh, code segments? Because those so code segments will not be working for the new data set. But it's part of the it's part of the task. But should we be removing it for the next part of the tasks that we're supposed to do? My question is, can we remove the codes that do not apply to our code? Okay, just if, if it doesn't apply uh, the current data set and it doesn't work, just remove it or comment it or just don't use it at all. I hope that's clear. So, for example, you have certain function that, that, that does nothing so just it's better to remove it if it if it doesn't apply to the current data set. 
Okay, but like in the tasks above, uh, on on the start of the task one, it says to move those functions to loader and util. So how would you be able to see that we've moved it if we've removed it uh, afterwards? Uh, okay, sorry, uh, yes, my laptop is lagging. Uh, so you're you're saying on task one, right? Okay, you can hear me, right? Uh, yes, yes. Okay, I'm, I'm so, talking on task uh, part. Okay. Uh, so, in, in that part, like let's say you have, uh, you have, we don't actually consider it as, uh, let's say you you use your own, uh, your own loader. So that would work. So uh, it doesn't mean like we will compare the first. Uh, And uh, your current code is very which are actually in line. So uh, while while we are changing, we just we know actually is from that, and which code is important for the current data set. So let's say you move it, you move it, and after that you submit, right? So for example, for task you submitted, and for task you re you remove the code because it's it's not important. So that's okay. Just if you are afraid, like we might not see it, just make a commit. Uh, move move uh, loader files, non plotting loader files to loader function. And after you commit that, you remove it. So on the next commit, we can see the change. Which is uh, okay. You can do it in that way. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, I think we are, uh, we are at the beginning of time. And if you have any questions, just post it on day two. And uh, anybody who has a solution for someone's question, just don't hesitate to help them out. And also, I think if there is one question in the chat, let me just address that one and we will end the same here. Uh, do we have to submit a notebook file as well? Or can I just use my local files? Okay, if you are performing an EDA notebook file, is required. Since we 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 need to follow what kind of, we need to sort kind of steps you took. And okay, uh, what if we don't use it at all? Uh, for Abraham's question. Uh, okay, it gives you a, a great answer, but your current, what you are submitting follows the same structure, it's fine. If it's confusing for you, just use your own code, uh, your, own, uh, your own code, but make sure you are using uh, the same structure as suggested or as given in the, in the start of the code. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, we can conclude. Yes, Natanya. We can conclude. And if there is any right. question, make sure to post it on all day. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So thank you everyone for joining. Let's go ahead and ensure we join all the other sessions for today. If you have any questions, 